Hey everybody, my name is Steve Moore and this is my running store, Run More, located on Main Street in Westminster, Maryland. Well, this is a big one. It's the brand new Ultra Lone Peak 5. Uh, we're recording this in the beginning of December and this is actually coming out at the end of this month, so we're really excited to get our hands on all these fun new shoes to kind of see what separates us from previous versions of the shoe and just sort of where it falls in the trail running line in general. So uh, if you're new to Ultra, um, they are the brand that has the wonderful foot-shaped toe box on their zero drop platform. So that's just a quick, if you're not familiar with that, sort of where they come from. They've been around for some time now. This is actually the 10th year for the Lone Peak. We're on version five, but this is the 10th year that this shoe has been around. Uh, we opened our my store uh, 2014, around the corner from where we are now, and we've been carrying Ultra since then. So it's been fun because we've seen how Ultra sort of grown throughout the years, and it's been really enjoyable being able to see the shoes as they've developed and seeing how they've adapted to stuff that's different and the new technologies out there. So um, we'll dive into a little bit about what the Lone Peak is. The Lone Peak is, is their most popular shoe in general. Road or trail, the Lone Peak is the number one shoe Ultra makes. It is a trail shoe, uh, which really, we sell a lot of the road stuff, we sell a lot of just ultra stuff in general, but they are known more than anything on, on the trail side. And this shoe is really what separates them, in my opinion, from a lot of the other brands out there, because this shoe is so widely enjoyed and appreciated in a variety of different things you can do. Sometimes there's a shoe that's like a lightweight trail shoe that you would, might just want to do for some, some light runs, you know, maybe 5K, 10K hour or so out on the trail. And then you have stuff that's like big beefy trail stuff that you really might only need if you're doing long hikes, all day stuff, big long ultra stuff, marathon, that kind of stuff. The Lone Peak actually kind of, you can do a little bit of everything. And that's one of the things I think that's made this shoe so popular over the years is that we've seen people that come in here that are new to trail running, that are looking to do just, you know, short runs on their local trail network. We have people that use this to go on through hiking through the Appalachian Trail, or you hear people on the PCT that will use this shoe for all day stuff. We have people that you see running ultra marathons in this shoe. There's not a whole lot of things you can't do in this shoe. It really is much more of a trail specific shoe. So in theory, you could do a little bit of road running on it if you wanted to. I just don't know why you would. It's really designed much more for that off-road stuff. So um, the Ultra Lone Peak has a bunch of new updates from the previous version. And you know, this shoe being around for so long and being as popular as it is, um, it's really fun to see not just like little color changes, but like big new changes across the board on this shoe. And uh, honestly, and across the board on a lot of Ultra stuff, we'll see in 2021. I got a chance to see the entire lineup all the way through the end of next year. And I'm really excited about the stuff that we're gonna be carrying on our wall here. And there's gonna be some lines that might be changed and maybe some stuff that's going away in the Ultra family. But the things that they've done to sort of fill those gaps in, the, in, their, in their lineup, I think are really positive. And it all starts with the Lone Peak. So the biggest change, well, one of the biggest changes that we started with on this shoe is that we've changed the midsole. Now we have a full Ego midsole on the Lone Peak. So if you're not sure what that means, the midsole that they had been using was just your regular off-roading kind of midsole. They've upgraded to the same midsole that they've been using on their popular road stuff. It sort of started with the Ultra Escalante, which was that charged rubber feel, that feeling of nice and soft, but still responsive. And you've seen that sort of bleeding into a lot of the other shoes that they've been carrying, is that Ego midsole, because it is a really nice blend of something that's responsive, that's really nice and soft and cushy, gives you that bounce and is durable, so it lends itself well to a lot of stuff. So now we've added a midsole that is gonna be more responsive, but still give you that protection. So you might be able to feel just a little bit more spring in your step while still feeling that protection that you're looking for if you're gonna be wearing it all day. And quite honestly, that's one thing with the last Lone Peak that I didn't love is that I felt that it was a little stiff. I felt like it was a little too firm. Um, and you're not gonna really have that with this Lone Peak. So that's a nice update. Um, I'm just showing you this because all the Lone Peaks, if you've always wondered what that little Velcro is on the back of your shoes, on your trail shoes and this little piece, it's for a gator trap. It's for the little, I call it the turtleneck for your ankle. So that's what that's for. And I'm just gonna kind of hold through a couple different shoes here so you can see all the fun varieties here. So now we'll pop onto this fun guy here. So. I knew that was gonna happen at some point. You see that save though? Um, so we've changed our midsole completely. We made it a much better up, updated midsole on this shoe. We have done a better job on the drainage. So they've done a really good effort into making a larger, more defined drainage cap on this shoe. So if you're going through all that water, if you're going through stream crossings, all that good stuff, you're really gonna be happy getting through it and kicking out water. Quite honestly, 
I, I've always been impressed with not just the ultra stuff, really trail stuff in general. It is amazing when you can run through stuff that is just terrible, stream crossings, all that good jazz. And within a few strides, it feels like, I mean, within like less than a minute, I feel like my feet are always in pretty good shape. And I run a lot of trails out here. Anyway, I think it's really nice, updated. If you've ever felt like your teal is a little too wet, you're gonna be quite happy with the updated version of that. They have changed the toe cap on here. And that was something that people asked us a lot on the previous versions of this shoe is, you know, sometimes they felt that delamination where like you sort of feel like this is unglued. So this is now totally stitched in here. So if you've ever been somebody who's had a trail shoe or an issue where it started to kind of separate, it started to peel back, shouldn't be an issue on this. It is now a sewn in updated version on that. We've also changed the stone guard. I actually have, um, well, this is the stone guard that's integrated into the shoe. Um, and now it's actually, they put more attention to detail. I doubt you can see this, but there are spots that are more defined and a little bit more aggressive than others. And it's just gonna be your more, your more, your landing zones are gonna be a little more hard hit. Are gonna be that much more protected. So this is integrated in the shoe so that if you're stepping on something that's really sharp and pointy, it's gonna give you just a little bit of protection. It's super, I can see, super feather light, but very durable, very rugged when you kind of feel what it, the texture that it's made of. And that's again, some of these little things that we're talking about, like the drainage, the reinforced toe cap, and, and you know, the stone guard, that's one of those things that are separating that shoe from a road shoe. So again, if you're doing a lot of road stuff, it doesn't really make sense to be wearing a shoe that has some of these extra bells and whistles, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess the, the biggest change that we're gonna talk about as far as the Lone Peak go, and um, some of the stuff that we're gonna see moving forward in 2021 is, it's gonna be available in wide. That's gonna make a lot of people happy. If you've been with Ultra for a long time, that is always, we get questions on all of our videos that we're doing with Ultra in the bottom. Is, how does it fit? I feel like the last one got too narrow. How's the narrowest? What does it compare? Blah, 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 blah. Totally get it. Um, you know, we get people that will come in here and they'll tell us about conditions that might be going with their feet. And they will say, you know, like I, I've got, you know, neuropathy and I've got, you know, bunion and I've got a big round foot and I just want to feel something that almost feels like I'm barefoot, but in a shoe. All the things when we're hearing it, when we're in the fitting over here, is we're going, boom, I'm going to put this person in whatever, a torrent, and it's gonna change their life. And you'd pull it out and you put it on their foot and they'd be like, that's the ugliest shoe I've ever seen, I'll never wear it. It's like, come on people. So I understand that Ultra is in this tough, tough spot where you wanna make sure that you're making everybody happy. You want the people that are used to those big clown-like rounded toe box shoes, sorry folks, that's what they look like, especially the old stuff, to getting new people into your brand. And um, I, I have, don't know, I feel like sometimes, I think people want to feel like the shoe has gotten narrower. I think people are just convinced that stuff feels way, way tighter. And I'm happy to say this shoe, even in like the normal Ultra, the normal version of this, the non-wide, it still feels every bit as wide as I'm accustomed to in a Lone Peak. I can put it on, I still feel like I have a good amount of splay and I don't feel that pinching up here. And I do have a wider foot foot. I've got, my feet are just all jacked from all the years of running in my opinion. Um, so I don't feel like the standard is more narrow and now you have a wide option. I still feel like the standard is plenty wide. It's just now there's gonna be a wide option. I pulled these two out because these are the colors. This is not the wide version, but this is the color scheme that'll be available in both a standard and a wide option option on both the men's and female. So how wide? Well, you're talking about feeling like 4E. That's sort of what it feels like. And that's, you know, that's about as wide, that is about as wide as you're going to find in a traditional running shoe is a 4E option. So you're going to feel plenty wide here. And on the female, you're going to feel like sort of between a D and a 2E. It's like a D plus, I would call it. So you're going to be able to feel nice and roomy here, but it's not going to then make it feel like some of the other stuff that you have from the Lone Peak. If you were to just say a standard, now it's going to feel too narrow. I don't think that's going to be the case at all. I just want to hold one more color up. This is just a regular female in a black. So the Lone Peak 5, $130. It's a great value. You can do a little bit of everything in it. And there's been some really nice updates to it. So if you were hoping to see some big changes for the shoe, you're gonna get it. You've got options in wide, new midsole, better stone guard, reinforced toe cap. Um, and the upper I think is a little bit more flexible. Um, I feel like the last one almost was, was well, I understand you have to have a material on your upper that's gonna be not gonna snag and it's gonna feel nice and protected as you're going through all the muckety muck inside the trails and such. And thorns, I felt like it was almost too constricting where this there's a little bit more play into it. And I actually, you can kind of, I mean, you can really see it just has a little bit more to it. So I think that's a nice little update too. So a lot of great updates on that shoe. And then we also have an all weather version of this shoe. So this is gonna be coming in at 160 bucks. Um, it also has a little bit different ventilation system to it. So it's designed to really keep you totally dry and then totally keep your feet still feeling like they're nice and happy and not so constricted. I will say if on the all weather versions of this shoe, I feel like these are a little bit cut narrower. 
I just think because of all the different kind of materials that they're using this. So this to me, the all weather stuff is definitely a little bit narrower cut in my opinion. And I, I also mentioned, uh, the reason why I was kind of talking before about the drainage on that shoe, what we get asked from time to time is, is it worthwhile for me upgrading and getting an all weather? And really, it, to my, in my opinion, you really have to be doing a lot of stuff that's gonna be super wet technical to need the all weather version. Or if you live in an area that's totally saturated all the time, or you're using this 100% for, for trudging through snow and such, I think the standard versions of, of these of the Lone Peaks, and really just most of the trail shoes out there, the standard stuff is really good about keeping your feet dry. But if you know you're somebody who is constantly have cold, wet feet because of where the type of areas you're running in, sure, this makes sense. Just know it's gonna be just a pinch narrower, um, weighs a little bit more, and it costs you know a good bit more. Moving on to the Lone Peak Hiker. This is just a, you know, a mid, nice high top, different outsole on this. So it's not the same mega tracks that we have on our Lone Peak. So just a little bit different on our outsole, but it still has a full Ego midsole on it. Same thing, nice, light, 140 bucks. So if you're looking for a more rounded toe box to wear for every day just hiking, this is a great option. And also they make this in an all weather and this guy's coming in at 170. So this is your all weather, this is your everyday hiker, both of these again, different outsole, um, but still has that ego midsole. Again, if you're looking for just something fun and nice, and some people find that hard to find a hiking shoe that has a more forgiving toe box, you have some options here with the Ultra Family and the Lone Peak. So again, they've really put a lot of energy and focus onto the Lone Peak and making it a bunch of options, a but now we have widths and a bunch of updates to it. And moving forward in 2021, you're gonna see that some of the shoes that have been popped through with Ultra are gonna be adjusted in a really nice popular and a really nice positive way. And we're gonna see some wide options and some other stuff out there. I'm not gonna tell you about them just yet. You'll have to stay tuned for that. But uh, if you have any questions on the Lone Peak or, or Ultra stuff in general, feel free to leave it down in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And um, if you're looking for some gear, we have a link down below, save 10%. We're, like I said, we're recording this in the beginning of December, but we think we'll be able to get these out hopefully right around Christmas time. So if you are somebody who's anxiously awaiting the shoe, you should be able to get it a little bit early if you go through our site down below. Enter promo code RUNMORE and just one word, two O's like my last name. And um, if you like this video and you want to keep learning more about running shoes and all the great things out there, give us a like and subscribe. It really helps us find new customers. As always, thanks and uh, stay safe out there and happy.